Outdoor Travel Channel with Robin Sherry, featuring RV travel, outdoor cooking, boating, and amazing road trips. Thanks for watching and let's begin. Don't forget to subscribe. Previously in part five, Return to Washington, we enjoy the Washington Park Loop in Anacortes. Then we torture two teenagers for trying steamer clams for the first time and they actually liked it. Oh, hi guys, today's Monday and today we move our rigs from boondocking here in uh, Anacortes Marina to Fidalgo Bay RV Resort. So uh, we gotta run an errand first, but in about an hour we're gonna move the rigs and uh, park right here and uh, that's where our friends are at. So, once we get that done, we'll start playing again. Okay guys, we're over here at Fidalgo RV Resort. And all settled in. See where we're all parked here. And then around the corner here. Way over there is those guys. And they're parked there across from us. So. So uh, now we're here at the shrimp shack, which everybody's got to go to, and we're going to try to get some shrimp. And it's kind of a hole in the wall. Oh, shrimp. The shrimp shack. Alligator burger. Oh yeah, you get an alligator burger. I just want to get pictures of the shrimp. So that's a pound of shrimp? Yep, a pound. Wow, so anyway, it's really good stuff. Okay, so what are we doing here? These two are having shrimp for the first time. Yep. Got a whole bag of shrimp here. Well, that's a good size one. There you go. And so now that now they're professionals, you gotta break the head off. Don't make a big noise. This is wrong. Oh, I think I heard them cry. <laughs> don't do that, Emily. <laughs> yeah, please don't do that, Emily. And that's a done deal there. We got some sauce here. Gotta peel it out here. There you go. Look at that. Mm, pro. There you go. What kind of there you go. Yummy stuff. Dip it in there. Okay, and a little dip it. sauce. And uh, we're amongst many. All right. Sherry, this is Sherry. Sherry's the pro. I have no signal. No, Sherry gets a lot bigger. Yeah, welcome. Yeah. So our last shrimp was so good, we decided to get popcorn shrimp. I know. <laughs> These babies are good. So, uh, and what's worse is the people that we are with are going to go get more shrimp. So. Welcome to the Shrimp Shack. So we're coming up to Deception Pass here, so we'll see what we can see from the car. So it's a little hard to hear, but uh, what Rob was saying there is uh, we're going over Deception Pass, which is a beautiful bridge. You can see people park on the side and then walk the edge of this bridge. And it's a long ways down. And the reason, uh, one of the reasons they call it Deception Pass is when the currents are moving uh, during the tidal flows, it's easy to underestimate how much current is going through that canal area. Uh, this is a beautiful day to actually go out on the bridge. And what we're going to do is come across the bridge here like this and I'll let you see what it looks like. And then uh, you can see the water is flowing through there pretty good. But when the tides are really turning, uh, the boats have to work really hard to get through there. So we're going to go across the bridge here and then we're going to turn around and come back and let you see what it looks like on the other side of the bridge. It's beautiful. This is our return trip on the bridge. Uh, this is the, uh, you can see there's actually a boat being brave enough to go through there. You have to run some pretty good power to do this.
So we're going right while well, we're at the Fidalgo RV park and we're going to a trail, a bike trail that kind of one of our favorite places to go that gives us access to the water and some possibly see some eagles and it's a really nice walk so we'll let's just see what it looks like. All right guys, so we're down the trail here a little bit. Uh, once again in Fidalgo Bay. Uh, in front of us you can see the trail kind of straightens out. I don't know how far we're going to get today, but we did eat a lot at the shrimp shack. <laughs> we really need to do this walk. <laughs> and uh, we have Cinder with us. And uh, she uh, basically tells us we're not going fast enough. But beautiful day. We've seen an eagle already, so I'll show that in the video. Saw a crane already. The flowers are just gorgeous. Look at these flowers. And what's really cool along this trail is you can get quite educated of what you're seeing and understand the bird and the wildlife and some of the uh, recovery protection programs they have for the habitat. So it's really a it's a good thing. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll have a lot more for you. Just stay tuned. The beginning of this trail definitely has character, but it can start right there at the RV park. So if you go one direction, you head towards the water and get to see some great view, and that's the way we're going. And the other way goes all the way back to Anacortes, the city. So along this trail, there's lots of wildflowers. It's just gorgeous. And along the way, you can also get educated of what you're seeing and why it's there. It's hard to believe that this is actually across from a refinery, but it's all safe and it's very well kept. And so uh, the environment is very important to everybody that lives in Anacortes. And as you can see, it's very well taken care of. Thank you for watching part six. In part seven, we take a ferry boat ride to the Olympic Peninsula. We get a chance to see our favorite place at John Wayne Marina and get to go to a game farm. Stay tuned. Hey, thanks for watching part six of Return to Washington. Stay tuned for part seven for ferry boat rides and a game farm. It'll be awesome. Please take the time to subscribe and watch some of our prior videos. Take care now. Bye.